back to my channel and what are we doing today we are actually doing an unbox swatch and first impression of these Durham drawing pencils I would have shown you guys this in a previous haul video I will link that somewhere up there and yeah so I have a little swatch card all pre ruled up all pre cut out for this and um, I just really want to get in here and see what these are all about let's get those disclaimers out of the way and then hop back into this video. of course before we get started we do have some disclaimers to get out of the way I live near a major highway here in the country of Belize so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where I live there's also a lot of wild birds you may hear them calling chirping and crying in the background and thirdly, I have dogs. I have dogs, my neighbors have dogs. So if anyone comes in this neighborhood, you will hear those dogs, including my own, start barking. And with that, I get back to my regular scheduled program. If you have noticed in that pre if you have noticed in that previous video, these were bought for us as a Christmas present to myself. And basically and truly, I really love these. Um, I really love looking at them, I should say, because I've never really used them before. According to what I've read about these pencils, they are Let's call it wax based, um, which means that even though I have learned from different colored pencils artists that all colored pencils contain wax and oils, just that some coloring pencils contain more composition of wax than oils. So these are what will classify as wax based coloring pencils and they're supposed to be light fast. In fact, Darwin actually says it right there on the label, right there on the tin, highly light fast drawing pencils and it has it in a few other languages. And this is a, actually a very neutral, very muted kind of set, which is not necessarily the set I my, matches my kind of art style. Um, however, it is a set I like looking at because I like looking at earth tones and earthy, colory things. And um, within the tin, it is a tin, within the tin it does have in the different languages a, a little history of the Derwent Colored Pencil Company right here and then they also have those in different languages on the back of the pencil which is wrapped in cellophane it basically have the same thing which is right here in English and French and Spanish and I'm not sure what language that is it has a Derwent um, art.com company it actually says who made the illustration on the front of the tin which was David Bramel using these drawing pencils themselves. This art here was made by David Bramel. So yeah. And uh, so uh, now that we know, mark up. And here it has a, I guess basically the address and stuff of Derwent made in Britain. So yeah, so now that we know that the back of this coloring pencil, let's dig into it. this wrapping and that's weird you see that it's like the the packaging had a layer to it and part of the layer came off and the other part stayed on which is kind of weird yeah, let's open up this packaging these are pre-sharpened pencils okay and I have a couple indentation here here let me show you what I'm looking at a couple indentations here here on this end and one here but these were in the original um, haul video of this so I'm thinking this happened during the transportation of these pencils there is no indentation on this um, lid here so the lid is completely intact so I'm thinking it's something that happened during packaging of this so yeah, look at these. Ooh, these are some beautiful looking pencils and they're tight. Okay, let's bring you guys in closer. Look at those lids. Look at that. These are some beautiful pencils. This is not a review. Um, I will be reviewing these pencils later on in this channel's history but I will not be doing um, a review today because I haven't worked with these as yet as you can see they're pretty sharpened already Ooh. 
Let me check out the um, core of this pencil. Let's grab a pencil here. Let's grab this color here. What's this color? Sepia. He has a sepia parentheses red. So I guess it's like a sepia red shade. Let's. Ooh. It's really soft. Um, I will not compare it to a Prisma color to compare its level of softness. But it is soft. Does it blend? This one is Mars Orange. I don't think Derwin has pigment info for these colors so um I don't know what the pigment info of these are the paper I'm using is actually the Pacan mixed media paper the paper I'm using for my swatches. There's a scratchiness in this. I'm not sure if there's a rock in it or not. It reminds me of when pencils have like little rocks in it. Actually, color pencil artists uh, do recommend that before you use a coloring pencil, they recommend that you sharpen it before you start using it because sometimes manufacturer will put like wax film a little tin coat of wax film on the pencils before um, shipping them out so they do recommend that you sharpen it I do like that how does that look look at that shininess right there and that's because I did went over with several layers I have a little bit of um, my gamsol out so is some gamsel I have in here. It's on a sponge. Let's see how that looks like it wants to rain. Blends out. that look okay so now I'm gonna be doing the swatching portion of this um I didn't even talk about the pencils I'm just hopping in the swatching portion oh gosh some of the things I should mention about the pencil because like I didn't talk about them gosh um the pencils come with wrong barrels I mentioned they're pre-sharpened. They do have the characteristic Derwent um, Liker end here with the little diagonal, diagonal, I can't talk today. The little separated piece here in gold filling. It is, um, the font is with white, which is actually a very good thing because I hate metallic fonts. I really do. It does come with um, the made in, there's a number here, there's a letter in here, like an Okay, SN here. I'm thinking here, right there. You see that little indentation in the grave that says SN? I'm thinking that's the manufacturing code. It says where it's from, Lund, England. Derwent Pens, Derwent Drawing. It has the name of the color here, which is light, Sienna, and it has a color indicated number, and it does have the color indication here on the tip of the pencil. And as you can see, it is, um, in there so that's basically it it's round it looks like it's about a seven it's it's round and it's kind of it's not light it's a very chunky pencil um, the core looks like it's very big as you can see here it does have some very big core so it does look like it is a, a very maybe it's a four point core or 3.8 core in millimeters and this looks like maybe a seven to maybe an eight millimeter that di um, diameter so it really does look good so what I'm doing now 
which I'm such in a rush to do, is I'm actually starting the swatching of these. I don't know why I'm so eager to do it, but I'm doing the swatching of these. Just to see, and I'll be swatching them both on a white paper and a black paper. So that's white, sorry guys. I don't know why I keep hitting the camera. And this is black. Okay, so that's what I'll be doing for the rest of these. This one is so way blue. Wow, so way. Sounds like an interesting name, Sully. Like the name here. And then I write the color indicated number here. Sully Blue. And let me start. I actually tried to took off the cap of these just now. I was like, oh yeah, you're you're working with pens. Great Don, you're working with pens. Ooh. Blue kind of reminds me of a cool gray. Let's see how it looks on black. Darwin joint pencil. I'm thinking I'm I'm I'm, I'm I just did two, but I'm thinking I'm loving you guys on black more than I'm doing on white. Which is a good thing because I do have a black sketchbook I need to finish. So I'm gonna finish these up and I'm gonna get back to you and then because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just labeling and swatching. The sad part is I'm just doing this in order of how it came. I'm not doing it in order of my aesthetics, which is a little weird, but that's okay. It's okay. My, I'm going to pay for my eagerness. So in two. I do have to get up. And, ooh, I like this. This is really nice. I do appreciate a good dark blue. And I'm still on here, so you guys don't need to hear me do my weird color commentary. It's weird when I'm doing stuff like this. So, let's hop into it. think about these very muted shade like, um, like I first explained the one thing after swatching out all of these my first impression is that I am trying to figure out how I could use this palette with my art style because my art style does lend itself to a to a more brighter type of um, rendering um, the one thing I'm curious about is I've heard a lot of things about this Chinese white coloring pencil here with the Derwent drawing pencil. Here it is out on black. Let me give you guys some light. You guys can see the light on this. How opaque it is. And it is opaque. Don't get me wrong, but it's not nearly as opaque as the warm gray. Sorry. But these colors are actually very opaque. They're very, actually very opaque. The only two colors that didn't show up on this black paper is actually the ivory black and this brown here, which is actually chocolate. But you won't expect those to show up on black too much either. But even so, you can still see the indentation and some coloring of the um, this black paper here. So yeah, these actually do show up. These are very opaque colors. I would love to see these on a black drawing. That's why I was like kind of excited when I saw how amazing they looked on black. I would love to use them because I do have a black sketchbook I need to finish that I've had for almost... This year will make it two years, I think. Yeah, I think it will make it two years since I've made that sketchbook and I haven't finished it. 
Um, so yeah, the one thing I, I'm not sure you can see it up here, but these does produce a degree of dusting. During rendering, I noticed there was a degree of dusting, not nearly as much dusting as I noticed with the Prisma colors, but there was a degree of dusting with these. And that's one thing I need to note. And guys, just give me a few couple weeks to work with these pencils. I do want to try it out on a black illustration. I do want to work with it on a white paper illustration. And then after working with these pencils, I will bring this to you and give you my honest thoughts and do a full review of these. But all in all, this is what they are. Um, I like the softness of it because it's soft but not as soft as the Prisma color. So there's some firmness to it. I like that. I love the opaqueness of it. So uh, I would love to, I, I am looking forward to working with these. And guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.